Hello everyone, this is Red Joy, and in the for the sake of being transparent, I'm going to go ahead and show you a playthrough I did uh, for a half-orc barbarian. Half-orcs, of course, get infravision. They get plus one strength, plus one, con plus one constitution, and minus two intelligence. Uh, I'm going to make him a barbarian, which uh, gives him uh, basically gives him more HP. Uh, he can only specialize, uh, getting two spots in any weapons. Um, he does get a bonus to saving throws due to the Artisan's Kit Pack. He also gets Toughness, uh, which helps him out if he goes down to lower levels of health. He, uh, his Rage ability uh, gives him bonuses to Strength and Constitution, um, but uh, impact his Armor class and also impact, uh, they, they will have a, uh, I guess a, a cooldown effect, or not cooldown effect, a fatigue effect at the end of it, uh, but that's very temporary. Um, he of course has the other fighter uh, abilities that are seen with the Artisan's Kit Pack, um, and he gets a lot of stuff later level, uh, high, high level stuff, right? Uh, at 14th, 18th, and 20th levels, he gets a lot of great abilities. You can pause and you can check out those uh, those pieces. I mean, very, very impressive. And I mean, the 24th level, at that point, he's not even suffering the uh, um, negative side effects of rage. So, you know, very powerful stuff. Makes the Berserker, I'm mean, sorry, the, uh, uh, the Barbarian very, very powerful, but Let's see what we got here. We got, um, I spent a long time. Uh, throughout this video, we're gonna be doing speed ups, slow downs, speed ups, slow downs. Kind of get past the kind of dull points. So what do we got? I think there comes a certain point where I just kind of decide on a score. All right. So we went with 88, total of 88 there, which of course means he's gonna get maximum strength, maximum constitution, and 18 in dexterity, which is really quite good. Um, I decided to go with halberds in this. Um, uh, and I think, yes, I go with two points of halberds, one point of two-handed style, and one point of longbows, because early in the game, there's no point, I mean, no point in not using a distance weapon, right? It's really nice for taking care of enemies before they come in to hit you, and most of the enemies have such a low AC that there's no point in um, rushing forward to meet them. Unless, of course, you are a, uh, you're, you're cavalier, right? If you're a cavalier, then you're obviously going to. And the greatest barbarian of them all Leroy. I don't actually know what his actual class was, but you know, we're gonna say it was a barbarian. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your 20 years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. 
Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Yeah, so, um, early part of the game, I'm going to basically just kind of discuss about what uh, quests I typically do when I do a playthrough. Um, I always do all of the Candlekeep stuff. I'm going to speed through this and I'll kind of describe what this video is going to be all about. Uh, I like to take this opportunity to kind of show you what I would call it an optimized playthrough, uh, initial playthrough is. Um, but um, uh, but you're going to find out that this is not so optimized uh, towards the end of the video because I do some really, 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 really stupid things. Or at least one really, 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 really stupid thing. But regardless, right? So I go out and I um, I start doing all the stuff from Candlekeep. Uh, I talk to Firebee 30 times to get an additional 300 gold. Really nice. Um, go around completing all the quests uh, and and getting... It's, I think it's something like 300, 345 experience points. You know, why not, right? Um, I know some people are like, no, it's a waste of time, a waste of time. But, like, is it really that big of a waste of time, right? Like, like I'll get a little blessing. There we go. There we go. Go ahead and talk to everybody. Beat up the rats, take their lunch money. Go to Firebead. Sell the extra stuff, get some more arrows. Okay. It's me, Emowen. Chat with Emowen. Now, when I do playthroughs, um, I typically don't pick her up right at the beginning unless I just need to grab her stuff and now I'll drop her off at some other location, right? No shame in doing that, right? You, um, especially with due to the fact you can easily pick up M1 again. I have uh, NPC interactions which lets me move her around from uh, where she's standing, where I drop her off, to go off to um, send her to the friendly arm in or some other place, right? Um, it's not a bad idea, uh, especially if you don't plan on using her. If you do plan on using her, you can always just leave her there, scoot off, right? I don't remember what exactly I do in this run. Um, and then she will, she will get the XP of wherever you're at, or she'll be at level 2, which means she'll level up very, very, very quickly. So, either way, you, you win. Arrow missed. Alright. Let's see if this dispel magic works. Yes, it did. Wop wop. The dawn is especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue, but now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. I'm on it. All right, so I end up moving away. Um, Colsey comes to talk to us now. You can also pick up uh, Zara Matron. Um, some players like to have them right away and to use them for a really big XP point, but, um, we're going to talk to Elminster, grab the ring plus one, I'm going to open up all the various areas, I think I'd opened up High Hedge, and I opened up, um, 
opened up uh, um, the Friendly Arm Inn, and now I'm in Bergost. Easy way to get some XP. Talk to Marl. Are you talking to me? As much as you would want to bash his face in, he's a man who's grieving. Don't bash his face in. You get more XP this way. I've heard you also like kill him right afterwards because he's like 650 XP. It's like, okay, that's nice. But why? For the experience points. Of course. Yes, of course. But then you lose reputation, and that's oftentimes painful. Sorted. So hard to find right. decent folk nowadays. Additional 300 XP, and you get a scroll case out of it. And you get another opportunity to get 300 gold. Okay. Now open up the areas around Baragost and go south, right? You don't even need to fight the Ogrelins at this point. Just keep going south, 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 south. Open up the area to the south of this area. Might as well take on the Gibberlings here. Yeah. Berserkers really don't have too much concern about going forward into melee. They start with 17 XP if you built them right, uh, if it's a half orc anyway. Um, I did grab the Colquette um, family gem. I might catch something. And then I talked to Lord Foreshadow, be nice to him. He gives you a ring that will immediately set your charisma to 18, which is great, right? Setting your charisma to 18 right, what's this means that you don't have to worry about uh, having your ex having your charisma really 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 low when you build your character, so um, go over to Colcut, have him um, give him his family's ring back, and then go up and grab the other ring, the ring of wizardry from friendly arm in. Then you go north, you Get take away. out these goons, and astonishingly, 35 HP uh, XP was all I needed to get up to level two. You do not lose reputation for killing out these goons, because these goons are evil. You murdered the fish, you bastard! There you go. I'm on it. You can go ahead and break into... Oh. I don't know why I did that. Break into these areas. And then move north. I would not tango with the Ankhegs just yet. Here's Tanya. Go ahead, bring her, her her bowl back. You get another level up. Uh, at this point, I'm just gonna pump up longbows, especially because we're about to use longbows. Realistically, I don't, I I shouldn't be overly concerned about these zombies. They're, you know, kind of trash. But you know what? I'd rather not. Um, I'd rather not get hit at all. I think I actually did take a couple hits there, but that's okay. Okay, clear the area and talk to this gentleman, farmer. Gives you 800 XP. Now there's stuff in here that you could break into. Um, he will care, but you know, why worry about it? All right, take out these goons. Notice all the f all the fights very early on are fights that are very Sorted. easy to fight, right? Zombies, nothing to worry about. Hobgoblins, nothing to worry about. Gibberlings, yeah, okay, whatever. Again, nothing to worry about. Um, give this lady back her um, her ring. At this point, I get surrounded by uh, bandits. Actually, that was kind of a risky fight. I probably should have just run off, but that's eh, okay. All right, then I'm going to. I'm going to sell stuff and grab items, particularly grab any containers, right? Uh, in this version, I have um, the availability to get the Bag of Holding. Then I go immediately to the Shawl of the Nirid, and I take out the Shawl of the Nirid. Shawl the Nirid. She's not of the Nirid. She is the Nirid. Don't let her touch you. 
because then she'll start a dialogue with you and uh, it will result in your character most likely dying. But you get 5,000 XP from it, so that's pretty good. And with that, we get uh, increased Thacko. We're now up to level four. And level, I mean, like, we've barely done much at all. Um, then we can take out the Ogrelins. This is sped up by 1.5, or sped up by two. Okay, just, just fight him. There we go. All right. Right, what's this then? Then we're gonna go and bring this up to Marianne. We're gonna take out the half ogres. We kill man good. Gnolls, for some reason, are. I don't know, like, the fact that they have a halberd that does 1d10 damage always freaks me out a little bit. Um. Half over ogres shouldn't, because their HP is kind of garbage, but I don't know. I, I tend to play very, very, very cautiously. Too cautiously, but. Especially when I miss a lot. I'm very good at missing. There you go. Just take out the one that's near death. So my advice in combat is to uh, go after any target that's almost at death first. Get over here. Funny, he says get over here and... Oh, now Ghoul joins in. Neat. Ghouls are super easy to kill, but again, don't let them touch you. Because they can... Ghoul touch you. Open up areas. I almost never do the Zart Village. There's Ingot. Kill Ingot for his special halberd. I can't remember if he has the really good halberd or if the... Um, um, or if the... Um, I know there's a cave on this map that has a really good halberd. Come on. There we go. Alright. Grab the scrolls. And here we get Albert. Albert wants us to find his dog. Why not? So you go over and find his dog. Don't need any combat whatsoever. Of course you run into uh, some sparts. Oh no, he's a demon. Shocker. He's going to go back to hell. Anyway, that's a thousand XP, right? Super, super, super simple. Run into this group. They don't give any XP, but I like to just say hi. That's adorable. Okay, so, uh... I should just at this point just fight the gnolls. There we go. All right. So uh, I always like to find uh, the cat for this uh, young lady. Bring her up. Bring the cat's body up. <laughs> I want my. And if you have a good enough um, uh, con uh, charisma, she'll give you a protection scroll against the undead, which are really, really nice. Very, very nice. I did not utilize that scroll very well in this game, but you'll see why. But I did use it in my um, playthrough that I'll be using for, um, that'll be starting next, uh, next Monday. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do the dry out of cloud peaks. You can get an additional uh, reward if you say that you need a reward. Hey there. 
I'm Caldo. This is my brother Crumb. They actually have a really nice belt on them, so I like to kill them. Barbarian Rage. Hulk smash! Uh, ow? Ow? One of these dudes has 18 strength, so, you know, no joke. I think it's Crumb that has 18 strength, but he also has a club, so... Club plus one. My Club plus one. Very, very important. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright. At this point, clear this area. Alright, so now, going to the uh, east of Nashcal. Open up this area here. This is the area I'm thinking of. Yeah, okay, so this is. Okay. Here we go. There's this gentleman here. He stole a dagger from a tomb. Um, and he wants us to return the dagger to the tomb. Now, you go in here. If you give the dagger back, which I'm going to do here, I'm on it. Uh, then you get 900 XP. Cool. If you decide to fight him, you get 3000 XP. Which is actually not that hard to do if you have protection from the undead. Uh, next, we went to Hafaz. This is in one area south. Um, Hafiz, sorry, Hafiz. And by the way, Hafiz, if you're nice to him, he'll give you a protection scroll against magic, which is of course really nice. It's one of the best uh, protection scrolls in the game. Um, looking around, there's this little hidden place here that gives you a ring of fire resistance and a star sapphire which is a thousand gold all right this is samuel go ahead and take samuel back to the friendly arm in okay here's the friendly arm in okay now here's the thing right is I've done a whole bunch. I'm, I think I'm already level five, right? I already have a magical weapon. I'm on it. Um, and I haven't even done the uh, the basilisks yet, right? I will do the basilisks, basilisks in this run. In fact, I'll do them very shortly. But the fact of the matter is that I am, um, uh, I'm actually very, very powerful. I live this. I live through this, by the way. Um. I think, I think uh, trans uh, this dude dies. Tarnish dies. Anyway, um, yep, he dies. Um, so, uh, but by but by doing all the like doing all this stuff, like you actually don't need to jump into the you know jaws of difficulty by, you know, going and getting yourself killed uh, against the Basilisks. At this point, I want to get a little extra XP by taking out the uh, Wargs. I could face these guys toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but I don't want to do that yet. All right, now, one other thing I do that some people don't typically do is I, I go ahead and do Melicamp, right? Um, worst comes to worst, Melicamp... Uh, will die and you lose out on 2000 XP. Okay, but the time, the time, um, the time amount that you spend doing this is so low, you might as well just do it, right? So you need a skull, Why do I go chat with Dalantir. He gives, he, um, you tell him that you're willing to help. Why do I live in such a piss And then job? once you have the skull, go ahead and do this. It is a clear 50-50 chance. Half the time, he will live. Half the time, he will die. This time he died. I mean, it's it doesn't take a huge amount of time to do, and the reward is really, really worth it. So I go ahead and do it. I can understand if people don't, though. But to me, it's a bit like... Uh, it's a bit like the not doing the Candle Cape quests. All right, you're about to face a half-orc barbarian, dude. Enjoy.
Yep, 23 damage. Alright. Uh, by the way, we're going to give Purdue back his short surd. That's another 500 XP. And then we will turn in a bunch of stuff. And at this point, since we also have antidotes, we are going to just go ahead and kill the spiders. Oh, a uh, great item that I picked up was the Wand of Sleep. Very, very good item to pick up. Any class can use it. Uh, you just have to have a 7 intelligence. Right, what's this then? And then you turn in all the equipment to Landon. Can I get better than the stability stone? A stout hammer will fix most anything. And you get a fair amount of XP and some cash. So, it's kind of nice. Okay, at this point, I'm going to get ready to do the uh, basilisks. So we're going to go ahead and do those. Okay, so he comments on the fact that we found a mithril ring that is something with the, I believe, the NPC interactions. Um, I did learn what those are about. They're basically about, um, uh, they're basically about, uh, you can, if you bring Zar with you, then he can, um, uh, he can create a magical ring for you. Okay, now we have protection from petrification. We're going to go ahead and rest. All right. Kill these wolves. Keep Zar out of combat. All right. Now at this stage, we're going to go ahead and do the Basilisks. I have heard of an alternative way of doing the Basilisks where you charm one of them. You cast protection from petrification on them, and then you, um, and then you, um, yeah, I messed this up. Anyway, uh, and then you just keep on having one of them petrify another one, and then you unfreeze the one that, um, you do like a stone to flesh on the one that, um, is unpetrified. Or the one that is petrified, and you keep on doing that over and over again until you get like a ton of XP from it. But this is the kind of main way of doing it, right? Is sending in Korax to um, to go eat uh, the flesh of the lizard, i.e., basilisks. You right? What's this? This is great if you are a mage character because you can just cast um, uh, protection from petrification as many times as you want. No, excuse me. Oh no! Okay, we'll trade trade dance partners. There you go. Crest can get injured, he can get killed, especially if he's in, you know, since he is in melee. Um, it's kind of a risky thing, but you know what? It is well worth the risk, because you get a ton of XP this way. This is basically an XP farm. Alright. Yeah. Tomato weapon style. Alright, and Zara should be coming back. Uh, I'm going to have him rejoin, and I'm going to have him recast. Stop touching me. I'm going to send him off. Yep, send him off. You right. Gorak's hungry. Go off it. I'm on it. Gorak. Speak salty. You right. What's this? Go off it. Speak salty. Yeah, I don't need him. You right. What's this? Gorak. Good dog. Go off it. What's this? Ah. Salty. Gorak. You right. Salty. Gorak. Good dog. Go off it. Good dog. 
Let's get exalted. Yeah, so one thing to do against Moodleman, Moodleman will love to cast um, uh, uh, Dispel Magic on your character, which um, can be very, very scary, especially if you have Protection for Petrification up. Uh, he will cast that on Korax, so move Korax to go engage the Greater Basilisk right away, so then he um, he's occupied with that and he'll cast Dispel Magic on Korax rather than cast it on you. Um, I'm sure that more advanced AI will be able to detect that trick, and they will go right after, uh, right after your main character. But you know what? Sometimes they don't. We're not talking about Chat GBT here. We're talking about you know 1998 or you know 2013 or whatever year. Insert insert year here. AI. <laughs> You see, very, very tasty today. Somewhere around here. Where are you, buddy? There we go. Uh, fine. Alright. Alright, so. At this point, I can use Zar as a meat shield against this group here. Half the time I will go after this group, half the time I won't. They are, it is very risky. Um, Something troubling you? Go on, then. Let's charm Your Peter. Is ambrosia. We'll have Zar. It'll be a blade for your backside. Hi, Petey. Hi, Petey. My time. Bag it off. Hey, Petey, you want to bless us? Ooh. Okay, so we lost our protection for petrification, but I think we killed all the basilisks here. Go okay. right. Ah, typical barbarian. You rock, what's this? Something for me? Gorat's hungry. Go on, thanks. Very hungry. Spin on it. Gorat! You rock, what's this? Yeah, did he cast Unholy Blight on, uh, on, uh, on Zar? That's precious. Oh, okay. Well, Zar's dead. Bye, Zar. Kill, uh, kill her, get the belt that I really want, and then I Van Moose. I gave y'all a thrashing. Yeah, also, you gave me a thrashing, so, you know. Alright, let's talk to this gentleman here. You said something? For all the awesome things that this gentleman can do, he cannot identify items. But he can sell, he can buy the uh, gems and whatnot off of him. Oh, look. Ah, okay. Yep, uh, I killed the half ogres from Bjornen. We'll identify all those items. We'll go ahead. I think I, yeah, I had to not save and reload, but I had to basically, uh, um, what is it called? I had to pause my game. Okay, take out the... Oh, I'm doing the uh, sea tower now. So, take out the wargs around this tower. Get uh, a little more XP. Get over here. Also get a... Um, 
Reputation boost. Leroy is very good at taking damage. Like, he has been at middle middle of health for quite a while in this game. Hey, our friend. Hey, our friend. Yep, we already did. There we go. Alright. Heal up. Have appropriate uh, uh, protections. Um, well, you want mind control me? Okay. Now, I could use Barbarian Rage at this point, but you know what? Why the heck not? Or why the heck would I? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, sirens are very, very, very dangerous because um, not just not only can they charm you, they can poison you, and they can um, and they can hit you with um, if they hit you in melee, they can cause feeble mind, which uh, will be a death sentence. So I'm only getting a plus one to my hits. And you know what would be really smart to use right now? Barbarian Rage. Boost up my uh, Barbarian Strength. Oh, there we go. The fight lasted so long that her invisibility went away. She just gets minus two to hit. There you go. Salted. Now I think at this stage, I'm just so determined to, uh, I'm so determined to get, uh, to, to get good use out of my, um, my potion of clarity. That I just go in. They all save versus spell. It's bad. Huh. Now, in retrospect, maybe I should have used the potion of invisibility for other things, but. Fortunately, they're not doing a huge amount of damage to me, but... Alright. Now, the other good news is that my Barbarian gets really strong when he gets really low in his HP. So... Um... I believe he starts regenerating, or he does um, damage resistance. There we go. Alright. Now, at this stage, you can do the golem uh, cave. But having a thief there really does help, right? Because there are some pretty nasty traps in there. Um, so I just, I just grab Safana. It's worth the sacrifice of 3,000 XP. Um, uh, especially if you want to live. Um, you do not need 100 points in fine traps, but what you can do is you can put um, oh, I feel you so a good amount. I think you need like 75 in order to get through the traps. Um, in order to get through the traps of, uh, of, the, um, of this cave. So if you lay down traps here... There you go. Leroy levels up again. Alright, so level 7. We haven't even made it to chapter 2 yet. And if Safana dies, not the end of the world. Like, if she does her duty and takes out the, uh, 
takes out the uh, the goons. Go on, then. So be it. I'm on it. Right, what's this then? Or it takes out the traps. Sorry, I meant to say takes out the traps. I don't know why I said takes out the goons. Spit it out. I'm on it. All right, flesh golems though they do hit like a Mack truck. So keep our distance. You rang. Go on, sorted. Arrows of biting uh, don't have the uh, poison effect on the flesh golem, but they do actually damage it. And not only that, but Flesh Golems, not much HP to them. I guess they don't need much HP when you're immune to uh, normal weapons, right? Spit it out. You rang. I'm on it. Right, what's this then? Yes, dear. With pleasure. Alright, I think there's two more traps in here, technically speaking. one there and there's a magic missile trap up here no it's further along I think yeah this game has only been out for what 25 years still don't have any of all the traps memorized <laughs> all right Go on then. I'm on it. Yeah, so at this point, I'll do if that's I don't know what desire. my character is doing. Uh, she can't do jack squat, except if I give her some arrows of. Uh. You rang. Oh, I feel so sensual. Go on then. I'm Good job, on buddy. That's what you need. You need that one. Yes, dear. If that I one really showed him who's boss. I'm on it. You rat sorted. Come on, fleshy. I have a feeling he's coming around the back. I'll do, of course, darling. Yeah, he's Go coming around the back. Speed. I'm on it. You rat sorted. Grab this stuff. I don't even know why I picked up that potion of antidote. I think it's like a poison potion. The rest of this is useful though. Except for the, the cloak. Cloak is garbage. Turn into a wolf. Okay. I killed one of those at level two. Killed them all at level two. Alright. Tifana, you have done your duty. To God and country. You think like the golem on his way out would like just just punch Safana's head in? Nope, apparently not. See, he took five damage and he's injured already. Okay, might as well. Again, his AC is so low that. I do not need to be trained in weapons at all in order to actually do damage to this thing. But, keep them out of melee, because they do hit like a Mack truck. Punch your face in. Get over here. Oh wow, critical hit, how much damage I do? Four? Neat. There we go. Alrighty. We are done with this area. Except for this wolf. There we go. Alright. Oh, this guy. I remember these goblins. Oh, sorry, kobolds. You know what those kobolds did? They killed Isabel. 
Vengeance for Isabel. There you go. All right. Leave us alone, will you? To go ahead and do this. Okay, so this guy is, uh, they're doing an excavate, excavation. Of course, this is the evil option. The evil option is kill him. Kill them all. Let money cat, uh, sort it all out. Yes. All right. Now, for some reason, I find that these diggers, when they attack, they, like, it's not that they hit hard, but they actually hit pretty, like, pretty often, which is kind of striking to me, right? Like, they don't even roll. Like, they're getting what? They're, they're hitting in a minus one. So they're clearly missing my boy here, but, like, they roll well. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah. Yeah. Any others? Yes. There you go. That was an XP. Alright, skedaddle. Try to see if we can get some healing. Actually, we don't even need healing that much because we're... Well, we have got it anyway. Because we guess what? We're going to... Uh, now we have uh, 20 constitution. We can rest up and heal. All right. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. All right, we're gonna do go kill Silky with the um, with the protection from magic scroll that we um, got from Hafiz. So might as well use it now. Oh, that's right. You can't use magic. You actually have to hit me with your stick. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Hit me with your stick? I hit harder. Gosh, almost as if you need like a conjuring spell or something useful. What do you have? You have a mirror image? Neat. Yeah, invisibility really works when you hit. If you don't hit, I think they're doing uh, some yard work outside. That's nice. Good job, Silky. Don't quit your day job. You twit. All right. So at this point, I want to get the third belt. Ogre. All right. So, um, I have the Thalantir mod. Uh, Thalantir item mod, which basically allows for me to, um, um, allows for me to craft items, right? And in crafting items, uh, I just need to pick up the uh, requisite pieces, right? So if you get the three belts, um, potion of, um, frost giant strength, a pro potion of, uh, cloud giant strength, and a potion of regeneration, uh, it will craft a belt that gives you plus three to AC, um, plus one to strength, uh, passive regeneration. That's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's a it's 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 a broken belt, but for these hardcore runs, it's amazing. And so that's my goal. Is I want to get these these all the items right. I have the three belts. I can easily. I think I might even already have the potion of regeneration. Um, um, and I have the, um, and I just got the potion of cloud giant strength. So now I just need the potion of frost giant strength, um, which normally can get a little later in the game, but there's an area where you can specifically get it, um, in, uh, at this stage of the game. Okay. So we, of course, hand over. All right. 
Oh, thanks, guys. Doing lawn work. That's so nice. Thank God I'm louder. Okay. So, I think at this stage I turn in a ton of ankeg shells. I don't think I can actually use the ankeg armor because it's heavier than split mail, but... Sell, of course, the random crap that I have. Alright. Let's see. Kill the Ogrelin. Yeah. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. There we go. All right, so it's in this tomb that you can find the potion of frost giant strength. You also come across uh, several ghasts. Solid. Ghasts are like uh, ghouls on steroids, right? They uh, hit harder, they hit more frequently. They can do the same. Um, Solid. Solid. Uh, what's it called? Um, effect of stunning an opponent, and uh, they're worth more XP. So it's not a bad idea to take out ghasts, but you are in for a tougher fight. Take out this ghast. Get over here. Need to actually shoot. There we go. Get over here. There with the halberd. Alright. Skeletons down. Lawnmower outside, still going. Now here would have been the smart thing to do. The smart thing would have been for me to use the protection from undead uh, scroll, right? Then I could literally just walk in, beat the living bejesus out of the um, out of the ghasts, no problem. Do I do that? No, I don't do that. That would have been the smart thing to do. Instead, what do I decide to do? I decide to try to draw them out. And how did that turn out? Well, now I'm stunned and I have no way to actually save myself. They literally will bite me until I die. So, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, this is a one and done. This is an example of what not to do. Don't make stupid mistakes. With that, thank you so much for watching. Take care and good luck. We're all counting on you.